Hi guys, so to start this tutorial, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation and just applying that all over my face using the Beauty Blender. You guys know that I love to use the Beauty Blender to go ahead and blend out my foundation. I just think that it gives the most flawless finish, which is what we want for this look. Then to conceal, I'm going in with the Dermablend Smooth Liquid Camo Concealer and just applying that underneath my eye area to brighten and conceal. Then to set our foundation and concealer, I'm going in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. Now to start the eye look, I'm using Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream and this large fluffy E6 blending brush from Mojo Beauty and I'm just applying this to my crease as a transition color. We are going to be going in with pretty dark eyeshadow colors so you want to make sure that you do put down a transition color to make it easier. Then I'm going with the New Dude Volume 2 palette from The Bomb and this dark purple color called Friendly and for this I'm using a Mojo Beauty E5 tapered blending brush and just blending in this dark purple color to my crease and then gradually bringing it down to the lid as I blend out. I kind of want it to look like a gradual progression down from the crease so I'm not trying to keep it just in the crease. Then I'm going in with a clean Mojo Beauty E4 brush and just continuing to blend that color out to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines. I'm just using windshield wiper motions back and forth to do this. It is a process, but it will look pretty when we are all done. Then I'm going in with this color Flirty on a flat shader brush and I'm just packing this all over the lid. It's a really beautiful shimmery color. I absolutely love it. And then I'm going to go in and use this color Fabulous again from the new Dude palette and just highlight that brow bone area. Then for liner, I'm going in with the e.l.f. liquid liner in the color black and just creating a thin line on my lash line and then I am going to go ahead and wing it out as well because you guys know I have to do my wings liner but you guys can customize this to whatever kind of liner you personally like but for me, I wanted to go ahead and wing it out but I'm doing kind of a small thin wing rather than a big thick one today. And then I did decide to go in with that highlight color and just pop it into the inner corners as well. And then going in with that dark purple color, I believe it was called Friendly from the New Dude palette. I'm just putting that underneath my lash line. Now for lashes, I'm using these lashes from Lena Lashes. They are half lashes, but I actually made them into half lashes myself. They were full lashes when I got them. Um, I'll have them like listed down below like what they're actually called. Then I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to line my waterline and just make those eyes pop. And then layering on some mascara, I believe I'm using the Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, we need to give some life back into this face. So I'm going in with this Derma Blend Bronzer and I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin using this fluffy brush from Real Techniques. So I'm just putting this all over my face just to add some bronziness to it. And then I'm also going to go ahead and bronze my forehead as well because we're not going to be contouring up on the forehead. I'm just going to use some bronzer. Then to contour, I'm using Benefit's Hula Bronzer just on my cheekbones. It's the only place that I'm going to be contouring today. And to do this, I'm using an It Cosmetics brush that I love for contouring. I'll have everything listed in the bottom bar for you guys. Then I'm going in with this little duo that I have from NARS. It does have a casino bronzer in it, but I am just using the Sin blush. This is like the most purple toned blush that I had in my collection. I wanted to use something that kind of had purple undertones to it. So I'm just going and applying that with a Mojo Beauty blush brush to my cheeks just to give a little flush. And then going in with the Bombs Mary Luminizer, I'm just going to go ahead and give me some glow on my cheeks. So I'm just putting this on the high planes of my face, like the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm also going to bring it down the bridge of my nose and above my cupid's bow as well. Now to line the lips, I'm going in with this Ace Cosmetics lip liner in the color Buff Nude. I chose this lip liner specifically because I wanted to do a nude lip, but I wanted it to be a cool tone nude, so this is a very cool toned nude color. So if you're looking for a cool tone nude lip liner, this is like the only one I've found. So I'm just lining my lips with that. 
And then going in with Gerard Cosmetics Underground Lipstick and applying that to my lips. I am obsessed with this color. Oh my goodness, it's like the perfect cool tone, purpley nude, like ugh, I love it. Then I'm just topping it with some Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss. I believe this one is in the color Baby Love, but I'll have it linked down below. And then last but not least, I am dousing myself in my Totally Edible Gourmand Perfume from Aromacology. I talked about this in one of my last favorites videos. I'll link it down below if you guys didn't see it, but I custom made this perfume on their website and they also have an Amazon page where they are selling this and it smells so amazing, you guys. You know I love my sweet scents and this one is amazing. Its base has vanilla, sugarcane, and chocolate. Like, hello, could it be a better combination? Probably not. So I am obsessed with this. I'll have a link down below for you guys. But yeah, that is the completed look. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And let me know in the comments any more video as ideas that you guys would like to see because I want to film videos that y'all want to watch. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.